In this video, we'll create a simple Maven project. And here's our basic game plan. So we'll learn about Eclipse's support for Maven. We'll also create a simple Maven project with Eclipse. We'll explore the generated files and directories. We'll actually run our application. And then also we'll update the Java version settings because there's some little weird things that happen with the Maven project. And I'll show you how to resolve it, how to work around it. Alrighty, so Eclipse and Maven. So the most recent versions of Eclipse, they have built-in support for Maven. They actually make use of this M2 Eclipse plugin. So the really nice thing about using this plugin is that there's no need to download and install Maven separately. This plugin handles all of the Maven functionality for you. So you can actually create Maven projects, add dependencies, and do all of that work inside of Eclipse without having to use the command line. So this is a really cool feature. I love it. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and dive into Eclipse and try this out. So the first thing that we want to do is to make sure that the M2 Eclipse plugin is installed. So what we'll do is we'll go to the help menu in Eclipse, and then we'll move down to this menu option called install new software. And then in the bottom right, there's a little link here that says what is already installed. Go ahead and click that link and it'll give us a list. Alrighty, so there's a lot of plugins out here. Um, what we'll actually do is in the top, we'll actually filter this text and we'll just type in M2E. So that should give us a list of the M2E plugins. So as long as you have the first one here, Maven integration for Eclipse, then you're in good shape. And then also the one at the bottom, Maven integration for WTP, WTP stands for Web Tools Project for building web apps, then you're okay. So those are the only two that you really need. The others are optional. All right, so we're in good shape here. We can go ahead and close this window. And then we can hit cancel to close this window. So we already have it installed. Now, if you don't have that plugin installed, don't worry. Um, in the following lecture, I'll have text-based instructions to show you how to install this M2 Eclipse plugin for your version of Eclipse. But again, I highly recommend that you use the most recent version because it has it already bundled in. But anyways, I'll cover the steps uh, if you need it. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and create a new project. So we'll go to File, New, and then we'll move down and we'll choose Other. And this will give us a lot of different wizards or project types. Um, in the little section here for the filter text, type in Maven, and you should get some options here. Choose the one that says Maven Project because we're creating a new Maven project right now. Go ahead and click on Next. Uh, keep all the defaults here and click on Next again. And now we need to give it the archetype. So remember the archetype is basically the starter project that we're going to use. So for this example, we'll use the quick start. So in the filter section, type in quick start. It should kind of filter it down for that. I'll select that archetype. And then go ahead and click on next. And now we give our actual coordinates for our Maven project. So for the group ID, I'll leave it as com.love to code. For artifact ID, I'll give my cool lab. And then for version, I'll call it 1.0. And again, we can kind of dream up these values. We can give anything that we want. But, you know, I showed you the conventions that were used um, from the previous set of slides. And then we go ahead and click on finish. Okay, great. So this will actually create your new Maven project for you. And then we'll discuss it in the next video.